my brothers and sisters in Christ. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. Day unto day unto speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where the voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and the words to the end of the world, and them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of the chamber, and rejoice as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven, and is circling unto the end of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise and simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter as salt, than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. I have read Psalms 19 in its entirety. May the Lord have a blessing on the readers and the doers of his holy word. Amen. 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 Come on and praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. I said praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, come on. Let's put it across Sunday. I said praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, if you came with a heart and a mind to worship him, come on, let's stand up over the building all today. Come on, let's stand up all over the building. Come on and let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Open with the fruit of your lips. Offer praise unto God.
that God, when we don't move the way that you want us to move, God, you're still there. That God, when we don't act out in love, God, you are still there. So God, today we thank you for looking beyond all our faults, oh God, and seeing every one of our needs today, oh God. God, we thank you that God, that you did not allow our sins to put us to death, but God, we thank you today for the blood of Jesus that has given us life and has given it to us more abundantly. Father, today we pray that you would come into our service. God, wash our minds of things that are not like you. Wash our tongues that are things that are not like you. God, wash our spirits of things that are not like you. God, some of us came in here with the wrong intentions. God, some of us came in here with no intentions. But Father, today we pray that you will give us the mindset to praise you. God, we pray that you will give us the spirit to praise you. God, we pray that you will allow our eyes to be focused on you today, oh God. That your name will get all of the glory. So Father, today we pray that you will forgive us of our many sins. Wash us, cleanse us, purge us, oh God. That everything that we offer up unto you today, God, will be all for eternal gain. And that God, it will please you and put a smile on your face. So Father, today we pray that your Shekinah glory fall down on us, oh God. Move and shake in us like never before. That your name will be highly exalted. Touch the word. Touch the man of God that will bring the word today, oh God. Shiver him in his body, God. 
on your phone. Yes, God, yes. I should have to say that every yes, single Sunday.
you make ways for us. You open doors for us. You close doors for us. And you heal us when we get sick. You make a way. You pay our bills. You pay our car note. And God, some folk can't shout, can't say amen, can't lift their hands, can't be happy in worship. Forgive us, God. Forgive us, God. Forgive us, God. We ain't gonna need you tomorrow, God. We gonna need you the rest of this day. Tomorrow is my promise. So I will bless the Lord at all times. Let's praise yourself and to you. Yes, sir. And I'm out. 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 And I'm
And we from the new American Standard Version of the Bible. Let's turn it to Stop, Bishop. Let's turn it to Let's jump to y'all. I'm going to jump to y'all. And when the day of Pentecost had come, here it is, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a noise like a violent rushing wind. And it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them tongues as a fire distributed themselves and they rested on each one of them. And when they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, so that's what's wrong with some of y'all, y'all ain't filled with the Holy Spirit. That's how you can sit in church and not say nothing. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit was giving them utterance. Now there were Jews living in Jerusalem, devout men from every nation under heaven. And when this sound occurred, the crowd came together and were bewildered because each one of them were hearing them speak in their own language. They were amazed and astonished, saying, Why are not all these who are speaking Galileans. And how is it that we each hear them in our own language to which we were born? And they continue, verse 12, and they continue in amazement and great, and great perplexity, said to one another, what does this mean? But others were mocking them, saying, they are full of sweet wine. Full of it. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place, and suddenly there came from heaven a noise, and they were all filled in the house. They began to speak in tongues, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. I want to talk about let's create an atmosphere. I'm going to be seated in the presence of the Lord. Let's create an atmosphere. Preach it all, Reverend. Preach it all. Atmosphere. Let's create all of it. Atmosphere. We started late today. So, y'all give me time to preach today. Let's create an atmosphere. Pentecost means 50. That's what it said. Pentecost is the Christian festival uh -huh. celebrating the descent of the Holy Spirit on the disciples of Jesus. Amen. Jesus showed up to them after his ascension. It was held seven Sundays after Easter, or we call Resurrection Sunday. What is the, Daddy, the true meaning of Pentecost? It does commemorate the Holy Spirit on the disciples and the disciples following three things. One, the crucifixion. Okay. Two, the resurrection. Uh -huh. And three, the ascension of Jesus. Okay. I'm going somewhere, y'all. Yeah. Get there, brother. Oh. What were the two signs of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost? Uh -huh. All y'all can't say amen on this. When Acts chapter 2 says, the sound from heaven was like a mighty rushing wind. Uh -huh. Acts chapter 2 verse 3 says, tongues as of fire over the disciples' head. All right. Acts chapter 1 verse 3 says, Jesus was with them for 40 days. Yeah. Then he ascended back to heaven. All right. All right. Ten 
days after the ascension and 50 days after resurrection. 40 and 10 equals 50. That's Matthew, cutting Buddha, Matthew chapter 3 verse 11 tells us that John says, I baptize with water. But there's one, one coming after me that's mightier than I that will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. I'm going to preach it like I feel it to you, y'all. Yeah. Pentecost also refers to the Jewish feast held 50 days after the second day of Passover. Right. It was called Feast of the Weeks. Uh -huh. right. Feast of the Harvest. Uh -huh. Pentecost, y'all, was a day of thanksgiving to mark the end of the grain harvest. All right. People came from all over the world to praise God and to give God thanks for giving them a great harvest. Amen. Amen. People were also expected after a free will offering at the best. At the celebration, uh -huh. right. they were supposed to bring a free will offering. Right. Right. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Not only that, y'all, they set aside to praise the Lord for a good harvest. Yes. Yes. Not only the harvest of the field, but also the harvest for lost souls in the world. Right. I'm preaching. Right. After the Holy Ghost showed up, y'all, the disciples' life and the life of the world was never the same. Right. Uh -huh. The Lord changed the world forever. Uh -huh. The Lord showed up and people began to speak in tongues. But tongues was not the primary, the primary miracle that day. Right. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get in trouble with some of my Pentecostal folk. Tongues were never given as a sign to the church. Tongues came from the Jews, yeah. according to 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 22. Right. Tongues were designed to let Jews know that they were to be judged for their disobedience to God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. We cannot dictate the events of that day, but just like God moved that day, if we can learn how in worship, create an atmosphere like that day. Right, right, right. Then we'll be able to see God move. Uh -huh. But it's hard to create an atmosphere when you're late for church. Yeah. Right. It's hard to create an atmosphere when you're on your phone in church. It's hard to create an atmosphere when your mind is somewhere else. It's hard to create. See, some of y'all still can't get it. It's hard to create an atmosphere when you come in church with an attitude and man it's hard to create a, an attitude when you're mad as hell and mean as hell and bring that hell inside of God's house. Right. 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 Create an atmosphere. Uh -huh. Learn how to create an atmosphere. That's it. Fear. Right. Amen. Ain't nobody talking to me in here. I see three things in this text. And we're going to rise up out of here because I'm hungry, y'all. The first thing I see in verse 4 and 5, if you want to create an atmosphere, you got to learn how to be motivated. Let uh -huh. the church say motivation. motivation. They were motivated. Verse 4 and 5 said this is how they were motivated. They waited on the Lord. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they began to, to speak in tongues. Uh -huh. Now there were Jews living in Jerusalem, devout men from every nation. They waited together. They waited together. First, I mean Philippians chapter 1 verse 27 says that we are supposed to strive together. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Striving together simply means Learn how to work together. Right. It paints the idea of the picture in the Greek 
as athletes. Y'all ain't talking to me now. Delilah, help me. It paints the idea of athletes working together. Athletes work as a team. Ain't nobody here talking about me. One man can't do it all by himself. We are, as a church, supposed to work together. Oh, the 
Jesus. Where were you? Yeah. They prayed together. Yeah, I'm here. Not only did they pray together. Watch this, y'all. They prayed for each other. Deliver me from a church where my, my brother and sister in Christ can't pray for me. Right. Don't pray for me when I'm in need or when, yeah, when I'm yeah. not a bad doctor. Pray that's for me. It, Come on. Sometimes you just got to go steal me on the I just called to say I love you, God. Yeah. Pray for me when I'm up. Pray for me when I'm down. Pray for me when I got. Pray for me when I don't got. Just pray for me. And you don't have to know what's going on. Baby! 
babies in church. You need a pacifier. Anything wrong with you? Don't want to be corrected. You ain't talking to me in here. Some people are saved but immature. Some are saved but are growing. Some are saved and spirit filled. Some are not saved at all and go to church every Sunday and go go to hell from church. As y'all can tell, I'm on fire. Diversity makes it so difficult in the church to really create an atmosphere where God can move. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There's no way around the diversity, but God's will is for all of us to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. 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 The Holy Ghost don't mean you jump up and you got to dance. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Break it down. Carnal people can do the Holy Ghost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Carnal people can speak in tongues. Talk about it. I wish I had somebody talking to me. That's again. it. Carnal people can lift their hands. Yes, they can. Y'all were just helping me. Uh -huh. All I'm trying to tell y'all is. And they do. They do. God wants to control you. All right. Thank you, sir. God wants to control me. I'm, I'm finished, y'all. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished, y'all. I'm, I'm finished. I, I promise you. I'm finished. That's it, y'all. They were motivated. They spent time in meditation. Uh, meditation. That's it. They were mighty. Yeah. I'm finished. Come on, Bishop. Help me close this. Yes. Um, I ain't been feeling good all week. Yeah. Vertigo been bothering me. Yeah. Yeah. It's been lingering around. Yeah. All right, all right. And my kids came over last night. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All except the jazz. Y'all know jazz don't live in Oakland no more. Right. Well. Now I was telling Yannis, Yannis said, Daddy, you ready for tomorrow? I was like, yeah, I ain't got no clothes, though. I went to the kitchen and made some tacos. Right. Mm -hmm. They were delicious. Here go that, here go that squirrels. We, we, we killed them last night, didn't we? Right. Just, just a one meal entree. Okay. Amen. Okay. We, had, we had tacos, though. Okay. Sounds good. It was great. It was good. Ground round. Ground round. Lettuce. Yeah. Cheese, tomatoes. Yeah. And sour cream. Yeah. Ketchup and taco sauce. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's how you eat it. Red sauce and green sauce. Okay. Yeah. Y'all ain't talking to me again. Yeah, yeah. And so, Jewel went and got her karaoke mic in the shit. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she she been carrying it around. Jewel started having church. She did. Yeah, she did. You know. And uh, sooner or later, the girls got up from the table. Uh -huh. All right. Yanni was the first one who went to the living room and started singing. I think somebody got a tambourine. Mari went in. Marissa and Mani went in. Joel was already there. They started singing songs after song.
We pray that the Lord will be with you all day long. We pray that the Lord will allow his son, his S-O-N, to shine upon you. That he will walk with you and talk with you throughout your day and throughout your week. That every day you will be able to see the hand of the Lord in your life. That you will feel closer and near to him as you draw near to the Lord. I we pray that you will keep your eyes stayed on Jesus and that you will keep walking to seek his will for your life. We pray that next Sunday you will join us back again on this station at the same time. Amen. That your heart will be filled with gladness by the word of God. We thank you and we love you for joining in with us. We pray that you will come back. Go in peace. Amen. Hey everybody, thank you for joining in into our worship again today. I pray that the Lord has blessed you and kept you wherever you are today. I pray that the word of the Lord has met you wherever you are and that it will bless your week. And I pray that the Lord will keep you and cover you. Listen, if you missed today's worship, do not worry. Make sure to follow us on all of our social platforms and that you get connected with us. Remember that if you miss worship today, it is okay because we will be re-airing our worship today at 6 p.m. And then we will be re-airing all of our worship on YouTube. So come on, get connected with the Victory Baptist Church, and we pray that the Lord will do great things in your life. We will see you again next Sunday at this time at this station. Go in peace and be blessed.